What up, guys? Tom here at State of Real. Um, today we're going to be talking about these replaceable coils that you guys buy, and you plug them in, well, screw them in, and after you screw them in, they say, no atomizer found. I hope you haven't been throwing them away, because I'm about to show you how to fix them. Let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go again. Uh, another no atomizer found issue, but this is specific to uh, replaceable coils, like the little cheapy kind that, well, not cheap, but the kind that, you know, new vapors buy. The coils are already made. You screw it in and you load it up and you're vaping. Um, sometimes people buy a pack of these and they are brand new and they screw them in there and they get no atomizer found. And what that is, is when these come from the manufacturer, this bridge right here gets crushed down too far into this gasket. And what that does is it cre uh, creates a gap between this base contact and this bridge so they never actually touch. And the way you fix that um, is you take the base and you just rotate it out a little bit. You can pull it straight out, but I feel like I have more control when I rotate it out a little bit. And all you do is rotate this out just a wee bit, just like that. See a little gap? Um, and then you take it and you screw it back into your, you know, contact there. Whatever atomizer you have, this is a smoke beast, um, or smoke beast, however you want to say it. But you're going to feel that it starts to, you know, contact that base. There's going to be a little bit of tension, but there's still more travel there because we have to seat the threads all the way down. You can kind of see that base rotating in through that uh, gate hole there. So now it's snug at the bottom. You pop this on your mod and you're gonna have you know good contact and that no atomizer found issue should not be there anymore because you know you have electrical issue the whole way through. It's very rare that the manufacturer actually messes up and miswires the coils inside because this is a trashed coil. So I'm gonna do it for you but you pull this out and inside here are all the wires some of these wires should be hooked over so that they contact this um, uh, rubber gasket up top so they touch this. And then some of them will be underneath this gasket uh, touching the actual inside of the thread part of this coil. And that's so you have that positive negative uh, contact to uh, actually make the current flow through. But that's all you that's all you have to do. You just have to rotate this out a little bit, create that contact, that distance to touch the inside of this base, and then screw it back down. Um, by the way, I want to apologize again. I feel like I'm always apologizing about my hands. My hands are a little bit dirty. Uh, I've been working on an F20B uh, Honda turbo motor build, and I've also been working on a 1964 Ford Thunderbird. Um, so trying to get the grease off my hands. And who uses gloves <laughs> uh, in reality but hey if you guys like uh, Honda builds or want to see the 64 Thunderbird and see how I'm fixing it up uh, just drop a comment down in the bottom and let me know and I'll get that rolling for you but until next time guys thanks for watching any questions down in the comments later